Josh Miles to the... They do, don't they? Yeah, oh, nice. those. Cheeky little numbers, aren't they? <laughs> You've got a they are edible. Anyway, We've got well, a, we've got sure they are. We, we made a girl in, in our video wear those under, in her bra. And those really? actual things? They're yes. sweet. There weren't many bras in the video. That's why it got, that's why it got censored, isn't it? Um, apparently. Yeah, we showed the standard version right. of but, your mm. video there. Are we morning. on? We yes. are. We're on. Thank you. We're on now. <laughs> so be careful. Yes. It's very nice to have you both here, by Thank the way. You. Thank you for coming. Where are the other two? Um, in bed, I would imagine. Yeah. Oh, what? No, they're bo I'm sure they're watching. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, no, but we've got to talk about that video because there was an X rated version. Okay, you always do this. You always do a video that's too provocative and they ban it. That's right. Mm. It's such great publicity, isn't it? <laughs> Is that what you did it for? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The honesty, you see, that's mm. what's great. In terms of the video, though, because, I mean, years ago, uh, Girls on Film got banned. Didn't they? <clears throat> Absolutely. For, for, Although, do you think time. that would be, do you think that would be banned now, Girls on Film? Yeah. Do you think it would be? Well, actually, it's funny because you're saying this and we're not aware that it's banned. There was a piece in the paper yesterday about it being banned and, and, and we were laughing about it because it, it had that, that eternal phrase, sources close to the ban. <laughs> and yes. so we, we spent... Was that your publicist? We spent all day thinking sources close to the ban. Well, we're very close to HP sauce, yes. Heinz <laughs> tomato ketchup, you Nick know, reggae, reggae sauce. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all the sauces. <laughs> yeah. So you haven't made two versions? Is that the truth? Uh, we have. We made a long yes. version and a short version. Yeah. But you haven't made like a, 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 a saucy risky. version, risque version, well, and a one one of them MTV has got version. more breasts in it and more and that's, that's kind of... That's the daytime TV version. Isn't it, isn't it, which yeah. is the one where, where, where somebody's force-feeding drugs to a girl. That's the daytime TV version. Yeah, that's the daytime TV version. Because, that's because the, the, video, the video of falling down, it is all about people in rehab, isn't it? And it's all yeah. about yeah. the celebrity culture coming in. So it's it. yeah, But also the album is called Red Carpet Massacre. Who mm. thought of that idea for that? Well, it came out of came came. I I it, I was the channel. Go for on. It. I it. channeled Take the it. I was we were, we we had this song and I was and, and and the chorus of it was was the rhythm was very strong. It was da 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 Very punky kind of song, and um and I, I was trying to fit, get a get a lyric that just fitted that exactly. And I and I came up with the with the massacre part first. I thought it was going to be something something massacre. And I, I was in the control room. I looked up, and they some, sometimes do the TV on mm. above the uh, the window into the studio. And there was uh, some rerun of the Oscars or something. And I saw, I saw I Nicole standing there on the on, on the red carpet with the, with the flashes going off, and it just came to me: red carpet massacre. It's a, it's it's a, it's a, a great name. Mm. It was, it was a great yes, name. Yes, yeah. And obviously, and you've brought in the two Tims, as I like to call yeah. them, yeah. Timberland and Timberlake. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What was How, it like working with them? Amazing. I mean, Tim Timberland, we were very lucky to get hold of him. I mean, it took us really months. Cool. Everyone to, uh, wants him. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, he was the only guy, producer, really, that we all, whose work we all liked. And uh, as I say, it took us several months to get him. We finally got him booked for a week in New York. And I think two days, three days before we were due to leave, we, uh, Simon got a call from Justin, who we'd met a couple of times. He gave us our Brit Award. <laughs> And See, I and he said, my number, he never called me. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said, it doesn't have, things like that don't happen very often. You know? No, he said, he said he wanted to be involved in a project, and, and he said, look, you can make a great record with Timberland, but if I'm involved in it, you'll make a record that doesn't alienate your fans. Because, right. you know, because he says he that's right. Did he actually himself. think he had a point? Do you think, you, hmm? do you think actually, yeah, he's made a good point, because we don't want to do that. And actually, Well, I think it's, it, it's, it's, it's great to work with new people. It's great to collaborate. It's great to, to push yourselves out. But sometimes you can push yourself too far mm. out. And if you've got something anchoring you, and, and, and keeping you with <laughs> with your core, you know, where yeah, yeah. um, we, we, we don't want to lose all the people who, who, who follow us all right now. So, yeah. um, but it's, it's turned out a very exciting record. What about yeah. doing a record with him, where, uh, singing with him? You, is there any ideas of, of, of doing something like that? Well, he does sing on the, on the record, actually. Sings on two songs, yeah. doesn't he? Sings yeah. on two songs. So he's there. Yeah, yeah. but he doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to front it. I think he's, right. he, he's very excited about the idea of producing now. I think yeah. he, he sees his, he, he wants to s s Moving slowly yeah. move well, behind the scenes. He's working with Madonna as well. He was yeah. telling us about that yeah. this summer. And obviously you're doing, um, you're promoting this album, you're in New York, you're going to be doing a series of dates and gigs in New York. Yeah. When are we going to be able to see you here in the third, UK? On the 3rd of December we're playing, we've got a grand red carpet opening at um, and the Massacre. Odeon, um, well, <laughs> possibly <laughs> <laughs> by the <Yeah>. press <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at the um, at the Odeon Leicester Square. On the th oh, fantastic! And you're going to be performing all your songs. Well, yeah, well, we'll do the whole. We'll we'll do playing the, the show. We're playing the new album. Oh, it's, a, it's an album presentation. Yeah. So can, who can come to that? Well, anybody. You can. can. 
Oh, thank you very much. Yes. Very well, nice so and you can. Thank you very much. Will the, will the, will the tickets be available for Duran Duran fans? For all the normal sources. All the, but at the open, <laughs> is that, that source is close to the band. <laughs> Do people, do people usually perform at the Odeon in Leicester Square? No, no. no. So it's the first time that's been done. I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's a great mm. venue though, mm. I imagine, because it lends itself. So well, well. We, that's, but that's, that's what the whole thing is about. We, you know, the whole theme of the red carpet and, and the glamour and the, the sort of celebrity life. That lends, that's what the, the West End seems to mean to us, and we wanted to have a bit of that in our show. Fantastic. Okay, so that is um, December the third. You said in the Odeon Leicester Square. Fantastic. Okay, and um, that's great. Thank you so much. Guys, for thank you very much for coming in. And great. Better luck with the uh, with the with the album yep. and the new single. And thank just you. a quick apology there for a comment that was made earlier in the show. I hope no one was offended. By just that. in case anyone was offended, I'm sure. Which one? We'll get to that later. <laughs>